For those of you that have Whirlpool water softeners out there, or just any water softener at all, chances are you uh, have probably seen this message before saying clean scheduled or scheduled clean or something like that. This is not an error message or anything that's actually wrong with your water softener. It more just means that it needs to be cleaned. And there is a special cleaner like this that you can use to clean your system. I'll show you that in just a moment. So this right here is the cleaner. It says Whirlpool Water Softener Cleanser on it. Um, this is marketed towards the Whirlpool units, but it does work for any water softener out there. And I will show you how to use it. Now this cleaner will involve recharging your softener system, so you won't be able to use your water for about two hours or so until it's done. So you're going to want to make a note around your faucets and your toilets and things if you think you're going to forget something along the lines of uh, do not use or something like that so you don't accidentally run water while it's cleaning. Now would also be a good time to turn off your ice maker because you definitely don't want that to run while the system is cleaning either. Alright, now that that's out of the way, the next thing you're going to want to do is, is prepare the softener. So the first thing you need to do is, is clear this message off here, so just press any button on here to clear that off. Next we're going to go to the tank. So, you're gonna, this is going to use um, some of your cell uh, more than a typical recharge, so just make sure that you have enough in here. As you can see, I'm at level 5. Uh, I wouldn't do this if you're at level 2 or lower, just because it's probably not going to use that much salt, but it's good to just have some in there. So what you're going to do is, and this one even has a note, but a lot of them don't, is just grab this cover right here and it just pulls off. And down there is where we're going to pour the cleaner. Alright, I've got the cleaner opened. I just had to punch this little tad thing off. So what we're going to do is, is just pour the entire bottle into here. Just pour the whole bottle in. Alright, bottle's in. Just going to put this cap back on, just the way it went. Yeah, just snap it on, give it a good twist. There's a little tab right there that pops in. As long as it's on like that, you're good. So the next thing we're going to do is, is recharge this. Uh, now would be a good time to wash your hands if you happen to get any of that cleaner on you. And so on this machine, you press and hold the recharge button to initiate a recharge. May depend or may differ depending on your machine. So however that is, make sure you do a manual recharge. So pressing and holding. As you can hear, it's going. So this should take a brown two hours spinning on your unit. Just let it do its thing. And one last note. Uh, once this is finished, you're going to need to open a cold water faucet, not a hot water faucet, for a full 20 minutes to f finish flushing the system and make sure that no trace of that cleaner is left in your water. So once you do that, your water is ready to go. You can now take all of your notes down and turn on your ice maker. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click the like. Make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.